is Sophie Kelly, and for our spring main stage, we will be presenting Where Are You Going, Little Horse uh, by Rada Moskova, translated by Robert Blush and directed by Margarita Blush. Today we have our lead puppet artist, Anthony Salido Budney. Um, so, Anthony, so how, what is your, what is your role in the show, or like how would, like how would you describe it? Because so I feel like a lot of people would have a few different names for it. Uh, I would consider myself the lead puppet fabricator. Some people would probably just call myself the puppet builder. Uh, but basically, uh, I'm interpreting the puppet designs uh, from uh, Margarita's puppet designer in Bulgaria, Christina, uh, and then uh, working with all the students to build the puppets uh, for the show. Nice. So, outside of just this show, like, how would you describe yourself as like, a theater artist, or like just an artist in general? It's va very vast. Yeah. I, I started out as uh, an actor who was doing too much sculpting, so that's kind of how I found puppetry. Uh, and then through puppetry, it sort of totally expanded uh, how, I, uh, in, how I interact with the performing arts. Uh, I do everything from uh, puppet shows that is solo work, uh, big puppet shows like this one where we are working with an ensemble of people and a group, a team of designers. Uh, and then uh, going back to my uh, solo work, it's like puppet shows, performance art. Uh, I also do a lot of uh, different types of installation art and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I'm going off script for a second, but you mentioned that you did clowning at one point. And yeah. I am so interested in that. <laughs> so yeah, I am a clown uh, and uh, the, uh, my clown show called An Hour of Clown. Uh, is one of the shows that I probably sell the most out of my company because it works really well for uh, kids, but it also works really well for adults. Uh, clowning is super fun because it's all about uh, being present with the audience and uh, making fun improv and magic happen with everybody around you. And that's why it's like an all ages show because I as the clown can come out and recognize that everyone in the audience is over 30 and then can like make the humor a little spicy, uh, <laughs> but then with the kids shows, it I solely more rely on like a lot of the physical comedy and bringing kids on stage to do improv together. Nice. Um, so like, what drew you into this project, or like, what kind of like was it like the story, or like was it was the puppet design, was it the paycheck, you know? <laughs> <laughs> the well, so. Uh, I knew Margarita a little bit before working on the project uh, because we both have ties to the University of Connecticut where uh, that's where I currently work and also where I studied. There's a puppetry school there. Uh, so that's how we kind of like knew about each other and then um, she was reaching out to a handful of people that recommended me to uh, be the builder for the project. Uh, and then when I was talk when I first met with Margarita, uh, that's when I really got excited because uh, a lot of the ways that she was talking about art and theater philosophy sort of mixed with the way that I think and feel about that stuff. Uh, so it felt very exciting to be involved in this process, especially like looking at the character designs that Christina provided and like the wonderful models uh, got me really excited for being able to like shape and build all these really cool figures. Yeah, I mean building big puppets in general too is just like super fun and every chance I get to build a big puppet, like I usually take it. Yeah, they're like crazy. Yeah. Yeah, like the, the carnival guy is like five feet tall. Yeah, he well, he's just under five feet tall. Just like yeah. me. He's about five feet tall. It's pretty funny because they're, we're using, I mean since uh, Margarita is from Bulgaria and the designers from Bulgaria, we're using the metric system to measure all the puppets. Yeah. Which is awesome. I love the metric system. Metric Everyone system. should start using the metric system. I'm sorry to American carpenters because those that you have it rough, you probably can't switch, but the metric system's cool. <laughs> <laughs> So why don't you show these puppets? So these are all the puppets in the show. Uh, right here we uh, have one of the, these are all like the principal characters. So we have the little boy. You can see his head's here. It's not quite in a finished state. And that goes for sort of all of these parts right now. They're all sort of coming together. Like here's his leg. We were able to shave it down so it's the shape we want it to be in. Uh, it has a stop here for its knee, it has a place in the back so its leg can flex. 
uh, as much as it needs to. It's the same sort of situation with his arm here. We also got his little, his little boy feet, which is oh. super cool. Uh, we also have the little horse over here that you can see is really coming together. He still has some more shaping to do, especially on his neck and head. Uh, but since he's not fully shaped yet, you can kind of see how we're putting these pieces together. Uh, we're laminating all the foam to these pieces of wood, uh, which is fitting into a lot of these different types of joints. So that way, uh, all of these parts can move around. So this joint would actually be called the tongue and groove joint because this is the tongue and this is the groove that it fits inside of, which is pretty cool. A lot of the other joints in the show are similar to the little boy uh, fabric joints. So if we look at one of the Carnival Master's arms, we can see that there's a piece of fabric uh, here, sandwiched between the wood, uh, and then that's the thing that's allowing uh, it to bend and flex. The most important thing with these joints is building in these stops uh, and these uh, areas where the, the limb can collapse on itself. So this is sort of the Carnival Man. Here's his head, minus his wonderful top hat and his little beard. Uh, which will be added on uh, later. Uh, and then we also have this guy over here, which is the carnival master's friend, the carnival horse. So you can see that his sculpt is coming together pretty well. Uh, we have some slots here for the ears, which are gonna be added on later. Uh, and then the cool thing about both of the carnival characters is that they're actually both on wheels. Uh, so we have these sections of the front and back leg, like this is the, this is the back leg, which is only one leg for the carnival horse, and a wheel is actually going to go uh, inside of here so he can all, he can roll around. That's the same thing that's going to happen with the carnival master here. Uh, he actually rides on a unicycle for the entirety of the show, uh, so uh, his feet will be bolted into a unicycle. So here are some of the wheels uh, that we're using uh, to have the, the carnival master and the carnival horse be able to roll around on stage. So the carnival horse has two uneven wheels, uh, small one for the back legs, big one for the front legs, uh, and then this wheel here uh, will be for the unicycle that the carnival master rides on. So we'll be able to put uh, pedals uh, in here for him. It's cool. Nice. Anthony, thank you so much for letting us interview you, and you should come see Where Are You Going Little Horse? Um, in April. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>